Hey guys, what's up? This is Jim from Hub Location Sound, and today I'm going to make a little video about how to terminate a Sankin COS11D lavalier microphone to a TA5 connector. So the story with this mic is I was using it the other day on a shoot, and uh, it was starting to get some really nasty noises, intermittent type noises, and I'm pretty sure it was coming from the connector as far as uh, when I would touch it, it would change and kind of get a little gnarly. So uh, I'm going to take this off and we're going to replace it with a brand new Switchcraft TA5. I highly recommend the Switchcraft ones. Uh, other companies make them like Remote Audio and you can get them from like Redco.com. Uh, I think those are just like no-name ones. Uh, the only thing I would say is look out for eBay ones, like those super cheap, like 10 for 10 bucks or 10 for 20 bucks. They're, they're junk. They will like just the, 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 um, the boots will just shatter off of them and stuff like that. They're just so cheap. Um, so it's worth the money. The Switchcraft ones, if you buy them, you know, and they're real are probably more like 10 to $15 per connector. But again, um, you know, it's your reputation on the line. So I don't know if you're going to risk that to save a couple bucks. I wouldn't. So the way to get this thing open is very easy. You just unscrew this part. So as you can see, there are metal tabs here on the connector that are folded over, clenching the wire. I usually start with a, like a mini wire snips like this, just to get under the metal edges because I got nice little sharp points to them. Be careful here because you do not want to stab your wire. Now the tabs have been bent back open on this connector so you can pull it apart and it exposes the wires inside. I'm just going to desolder these uh, to get them all free and then we'll figure out what we have to do to kind of clean this cable back up to make it prepared to go on the new TA5. Soldering iron. Just gonna tap these, get these to pop back off as one. So now that the head of the TA5 connector is completely off, what we can do is we can remove the rest of it. This part comes off and this part too. So these don't look terrible, but I think I'm going to re-cut uh, these from scratch just to make them nice and clean. All right, so now I'm going to re-strip this. Yeah, 14 seems to bite it pretty well. Nope, 14 didn't do it. Let's go to 16. There it is. 16 was the winner. So now we'll just uh, separate these. It's, it's a, it's a three-wire mic. So you have a shield, which is this really kind of delicate, hairy, almost fibery silver wire. And then somewhere in this mess in the inside bound up by this fabric and stuff, this insulation is a black wire and a white wire. The white wire is your audio wire. The black wire is your bias wire. The reason I wanted to make this video was because I've, I've wired a handful of these and repaired a few of these over the years and they're always super tough to do like they're really a nightmare and I was hoping that somebody else had made a video to show me how to like professionally do this if there was a I don't know a professional way to do it um, and there really isn't a video that exists and so I'm attempting to make a video and I hope that this is helpful and I hope you guys don't think I'm, it's too wordy or too diced up but this is my first like tutorial video ever and uh, I don't know expectations should be quite low but I do have experience wiring stuff and building electronics and so I'm not just some guy I'm like slightly more than just some guy on the internet okay <laughs> and if you do this yourself uh, disclaimer is uh, I'm not responsible for how it comes out I really want to just get all this silver furry hairy wire here this is our shield and just kind of bind it into kind of roll it in your fingers and then what we're going to do is we're going to tin this with some solder so the next phase is the the shield's been tinned so it's becoming clear why maybe no one's made a video about terminating one of these is because they're a fucking nightmare um yeah to put it nicely they don't i tinned my black and my white and by the time i got done tinning the black the black wire, the white wire, had pretty much just fallen off. I remember hearing some guy say that he literally just burns. Like they don't even try to strip, they just melt solder against it and see, and it like it, it just 
melts away what they need and, and, and kind of all in one tins it. So let's see if that happens here. Just holding it on the white. Oh my God, maybe that did it. Yeah. Oh my God, I think I figured it out. <laughs> so I hope this helps you guys too. Um, what I did on the white there and it worked was I just held this into like a big blob. I have a blob of solder right here on the uh, tip of this iron. Uh, sorry if you can't see it. I'm just, camera's in autofocus. But I'm just going to essentially try to melt away up until about there some of this plastic and probably some of the insulation that's in there as well. So that looks more like it and they look kind of tinned. So I think I'm going to go with that. All right, so first thing to do is to put the back of the connector on the cable. This is the thing that, you know, no matter how many times you do wiring, you'll forget and kick yourself later when you get your whole thing soldered on perfectly and then you go, oh my God, the back's not on. I have to undo everything. So we'll get that out of the way. So that goes on. Let's disconnect these for a second. We'll pop these through to make it easy. And then what you can do is you can just pop this around the wire here and fit it back on into the grooves like that. And we'll, we'll tuck that down in there for now just to get it out of the way. All right, so we're kind of at the final stages here. I'm going to pop out the uh, plastic insert here that goes in the center. Just put a little, tiny little dab of solder on each one. Nothing too blobby. Just get it enough. Again, we're not working with very thick wires here, so... Less is probably more to start. All right, so I've soldered the black cable on, the same way I did with the white and the shield. And that leaves two pins open right now. I'm gonna loosen this up so we can take a look at it. Pins uh, two and four are jumped together. So the way we're gonna do that is we're gonna create a, a small little piece of wire that literally just connects one and loops over back into the other pin. So for this, for this jumper, I'm just gonna use a little piece of extra wire that I have kicking around from other projects. Hopefully you have something like this. You want to use something fairly small because you're jamming a lot of things into a very small connector, uh, especially if you're wiring all five of the pins. So here we go, soldering my jumper pin. Oh, I forgot the other end was going to get hot. I'm going to flip it around to get easier access to the other side again. This is why I have this vise, man. It's so sick. So then I'm going to kind of just tip it in the direction I need to go in, which is sort of under these other wires and uh, kind of lay it where it's going to land and hopefully it'll stay there and do some left-handed soldering which is always super fun. And there you have it. Let's get this thing out. So you want to make sure your plastic is is in the correct groove of the, uh, the metal clamp uh, crimp part here and slide it up. So what I've noticed is if the blobs are a little too big with solder on the top pins, it doesn't let this thing quite land right. Usually you can kind of just force it past, and if anything, it helps the whole thing just stay snug. But uh, if it's fighting you too much, you definitely want to like do something to sort of make those solder blobs smaller on those pins. But it looks like mine's actually come together pretty seamlessly. Uh, not bragging, of course. Um, I'm going to really make sure these grab so that next time I'm on some reality TV show or something and talent decides to take off their mic without telling me, it can withstand a little more abuse than uh, they're able to dish out, hopefully. There you go. So that is that is now grabbed really well. Boom. Feels snug. I mean, there's no way that that should get pulled out of there. It's pretty squished. We will take uh, the top of this. And we'll grab this guy here, feed it in. So this one looks pretty good. I'm going to take the back of it and close it up the way we opened it. Just tighten this up. All right, well, that was me uh, wiring a COS 11D lavalier microphone into a TA5 connector for a Electrosonics uh, transmitter. And as you can hear, right now I'm wearing the mic. Sounds good. I can uh, pull on this and I can bend stuff and seems to be working fine. No issues. I don't hear anything weird happening. So uh, it's all fixed up. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, feel free to subscribe. Not sure how many more of these I'll do, but uh, if you have any questions or suggestions on how to even do this better, I, I would love to hear that because these are kind of a nightmare to uh, wire. <laughs> but 
uh, my takeaway from this would be um, not even attempting to, to strip the black and white wires on these. Just literally just hold them in a bubble of, in a little blob of solder. Uh, and it sort of melts away, it sort of melts away the, uh, the fibers and also melts away the, um, the inside insulation and just leaves them pretty well tinned. Uh, so anyway, thanks again. I'll see ya.